But another thing I'm going to do is tell you a little story today. That's Dow Crag. It's a really imposing um, cliff face with some scrambles on. Quite serious scrambles. And uh, oh, 25 years ago, I was on there with two friends. And unfortunately, one of them fell off somewhere down there. been a very wet beginning of the year and I think everyone's dashing out because uh, it's turned out a really beautiful day it's just an inversion over the lake or some fog over the lake um, but it's quite busy <laughs> Busy here, but I'm going to leave them soon. They're going up round Goat's Water. I'm going to go up to the uh, the pass to the Dudden Valley, and then turn right for Dow Crag. Look at that view. <laughs> Saw some beautiful sights on the way here. Looks really great with the mist right on the water as well. It's going though. So I've come back to Coniston. This year I've done the Black Sails Wild Camp in the snow, and the uh, Low Water Beck Scramble. I've done the uh, Scramble on Brimfell. And uh, I thought I'd come back and just do a little bit more and then that's Coniston done for a while. I've not been over here to really roam about for years, so it's been really nice. And today is stunning and it looks like it's gonna stay that way. So uh, I'm gonna troop up here. Oh, the other one I did was the Blind Tarn Wild Camp, which is up in that pocket up there. Beautiful place. Just don't get the sun so much, but it's a really lovely little spot. I'll uh, film that from the top when, when we get up there. But another thing I'm going to do is tell you a little story today. So if you're camping at Blind Tarn, that's the way up through that, that groove. It takes you around to the tarn. Well, here comes the uh, top of the Warner Scar where it goes down to Dudden Valley. There you go. Just coming over the coal. Beautiful as a sea. And uh, so centre there, that's Harter Crag. It's the only hill in the Lake District you need to use your hands to get to the true summit. There's the wonderful Scaffold Pikes over there. Lovely little bit of cloud over there, but it looks like it's going. And there's the path zigzagging up onto the ridge to, towards Dow Crag. Little breeze here. I'm hot, so uh, I could do with that. Had two nice holidays in a rental in the Dudden Valley. It's beautiful down there. It's where Burke's Bridge Rapids and all that is. Uh, very nice valley, but it's right out of the way, so it's a lot more quiet. Yeah, you just see the back of Bowfell with a cloud on almost. <coughs> well, I got up on the ridge, how beautiful is that? There's the old man. Dad Craig's over there. down there. Show you a shot of me swimming in it. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, so behind me you've got the wonderful blind tarn. There's the top of Dow Crag just coming into view. Another 10 minutes to there. Scaffolds. Yeah, definitely the clouds coming off them. They look good. Hardly a breath of wind. So uh, it's keeping it a sensible temperature because the air is quite cold. Um, there's a little bit of ice on the ground, but the sun's warm. So uh, it's nice temperature. If it was a breeze, it would be chilly. I was going to say, I did come well prepared for winter. I've got um, my crampons I've left in the car uh, and the ice axe because there's literally no actual snow left from the week's rain. Um, but I've got my spikes, my micro spikes in the bag. I've not needed to put them on yet because there's hardly any ice. A little bit of frost here. Uh, the ground's frozen, but I've not slipped anywhere yet. And uh, it's looking like spikes won't be needed anywhere. So I've got them all. Uh, I know it's quite an expense getting spikes. Crampons are not cheap. Ice axe, not particularly cheap. But honestly, if you want to do hill walking uh, in the winter at all, it's worth the investment. You might not use them, you might carry them and not use them, or you might decide to leave them in the car because you can see it's, if you can see it's totally clear. I mean, if it's cloud on the top, take it up. Uh, but um, I guarantee you, you'll get to a position where, oh look, I need to put some crampons on or I need to put my spikes on or I better get the axe out because there's a slope here with snow on and uh, happy days, you've got your money's worth because A, it could save an accident but B, you get to go places you wouldn't be able to without the gear and uh, obviously if you're going to get crampons and an ice axe Learn how to use them. Don't go anywhere complicated. Just don't just get an ice axe and crampons and then go to some frozen waterfall, you know, or even a, a difficult gully. Don't do not do that. Um, obviously nowadays the trend is to go and get a course, of course, get a course if you want to go on a winter skills course. Uh, personally, like decades ago, I just got the gear because we started doing stuff in the winter and um, and uh, we just started on easy slopes. I've got books about alpine uh, travel and w watch some uh, mountaineering council videos etc etc just on ice axe arrest and then how to use the ice axe, what it's for, how to uh, how to walk in crampons, you know. I know that sounds daft, but um, there are a few tips. And uh, then we just went to easy slopes. Just went up like Doddick fell on uh, Blencathra in the snow and practiced sliding and stopping the arrests, uh, things like that. So you can build it up, you can build up your experience and any mountaineering or any hill walking in bad weather, it's all about your decisions. So all you've got to do is say no, not up there or I'll get my axe off the bag because it's getting slippery or you know you've just got to make good decisions. So. Um, I'm no teacher, I'm just talking from my personal experience. If you need to know these things, research, uh, or like I said, go on a course. Um, that said, it's a little bit slippery here, but uh, it's only a little bit, so I'm not going to get the spikes out. They'd be more of a hindrance here than a benefit, I think. Years ago, I was in the Dudden Valley on a holiday and we came up in a February 
and we've done all these tops and um, they're all pretty plain it's just up and down but a thick amount of snow had been rained on melted to a degree and then frozen and the whole the whole thing right down a good few hundred meters was just ice and there's no way you could have walked across the old man across swirls and cars and all the other hills that you couldn't have walked there without crampons and um it's just lovely to be able to get into that environment and be safe but also enable yourself to do it so uh, don't go any any difficult ground until you know what you're doing um, likewise with micro spikes they're good for quite a lot of varied easy ground but don't think you can climb up some north face with them because they'll just come off or bend um, anyway <laughs> I'm not a teacher I'm just talking from my experience a decent amount of kit just gives you so much more opportunity but it also keeps you safe warm dry as much as possible anyway there's goat's water That's a shame. I have my eye on this as a wild camp spot, but it's not quite big enough and it's not flat. Looks like it's sloped a bit and quite rocky, so it won't really do. It would have been a nice little spot for a, a little tent. Never mind. A bit dodgy to get to today as well with the uh, frost on the, a little bit of grass there. Oops. What a fine day. <laughs> busy on Dow Craig today. Very busy. I don't think I've ever, well, I've not been over Dow Craig loads of times, probably three or four. But I've never seen it busy 
at all. There's the main gully on Dow Crag. I can't remember if it's called Main Gully or Central Gully. I'll stick it up on the screen. Very forbade, foreboding place. Oh, it looks flat from here, doesn't it? Oh. Very foreboding place, Dow Crag. Part of that is personal because of my experiences here. But um, it's a very dangerous crag because it's flipping steep and uh, I mean obviously obviously it's alright to walk over this way I'm just talking about if you attempt any scramble um, which most people won't <laughs> there's only a couple of uh, non climbs on it which is uh, they're grade three S's but they're quite committed committing yeah see look so you're not going to get a tent on there either that's a shame because I thought if that was flat enough that'd be an awesome place for a night good bivvy down there yeah so that's the very top I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down and tell you my yarn How do you like me new synthetic? <laughs> so let me tell you a story. I was probably 25, maybe a bit, a couple of years older than that. And I was well into my scrambling. Gone through all the scramble guidebooks. And we came to Dow Crag one morning. Me and two friends. Done a lot of scrambles. We've you know, quite um, used to it. But when we got here, it was covered in cloud and it was very damp. And uh, we roped up to move together. We hadn't done it a lot, but we were starting to do trips to do easy sort of alpine stuff and moving together on a sort of ridge is quite a common thing in the Alps. So we thought we'd try it here. We've got onto the scramble and it's a, a diagonal rake and then a scramble across the face. So we did the rake, got to the top and uh, decided to put the rope on and move together. And here's the clip that I filmed on a, a bit of tape. So, um, Nigel at the front fell off and uh, it was only because we'd roped up and then put it round the rock that all three of us didn't go. So there's a lot of lessons learned that day. Firstly, if you've got the rope, use it. If you're moving together, put, put, it, put some protection out. Don't just climb and forget about the rope. Yeah, it saved our lives. But nowadays, the other lesson I've learned is uh, when you get out to do a scramble, don't hesitate at all to change your mind and do something else. <laughs> because uh, slippery wet rock is not the best thing. Oh, a lovely day. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be, I thought, ah, I thought it was gonna be still wet somehow. It was due to clear up and, and cool down. But, uh, I was quite pessimistic all the way up. It was quite wet still down south. There's a lot of people, a lot of people out today. But then I think it's because it's been so bad during the week, they're all out there. There's hundreds over there on, on the old man.
Well, there you have it. I've broken out the Scotch eggs. Marks and Spencer's actually very good ones. Still a little bit dry in the middle, but very nice. Mm. I'm not doing mega miles today. Mind you, I've still got to get over there. And then I'm going to go down the slope to the prison and um, Levis Water. Anyway, let's get off of uh, the top of Dow Crag and get down to the path because um, I need to get moving. <laughs> Slippery, slippery. It's literally one minute climbing down these um, rocky steps with no gloves on. My fingers were freezing. I mean, mind you, it is covered in ice. But uh, yeah, reluctantly, gloves are on. Oh, I don't often get gloves on until really late because my it's where I lose my heat, my hands. So because I've been hands on. That was that was that was cold. That was cold. Right. Whoa. Going over there. I should just get straight down to the path really, but I'm cutting the corner as usual. like uh let's see that bow fell and then a little tiny dust in the snow just on esk pike that's good it's odd isn't it because there's i can see a line of snow on uh, great end but esk pike looks like it's got a proper sprinkling sprinkling so yeah you've got um bow fell esk pike great end ill crag Broad, Broad Craig, uh, Scaffold Pike, Scuff Hill, and then over to the, the pillar and pillar and all that's got the cloud on Kirk Fell. Yeah, there's a, certainly a nip in the air. My nose is starting to run. This side that's got the um, had the shade on it. <coughs> there's a lot more frost and ice here. Everything's. Everything's frozen underfoot, so I'm having to. Whoa! <laughs> I'm having to be careful. Uh, and I'm still not tempted to put the spikes on. I don't know why. I think it's because there's no no layer of uh, snow. It's just it's just hard. Well, that was interesting coming down there because the. This path, even when it looks like that, sometimes it's actually ice. It's just the, a thin amount of ice covering the whole lot. You can't see it. It's just um, a bit of bird glass or whatever they want to want to call it. But still, I was talking to a chap in front here. He's, it's not worth putting the spikes on because they will just get mullered. But um, it's been quite quite a game coming down there. Anyway, just nearly down to the coal, and then it's up there. I want to go left. Oh, there's a yeah, there's a left path. So I'm going to go into that coal there, and I think it's in that dip. I'm going to go down to Levers Water. But I'll just, um, I've done this quite quickly coming down here. But the approaching the summit and and the top, I, I was there for quite a while. So. Um, yeah, I don't know what the time is, but I'll get up, up there and find out. Same view, 
but I can't get enough of it so I thought you probably wouldn't mind gorgeous dark crag behind Whew. not far from the, the ridge again just up here Seafweight Tarn. There's both fell in the distance. <clears throat> Crinkle Crags before that. I'm going to lose some of the views soon. I won't be able to see over here anymore because I'm going to go down towards Levers Water. <clears throat> so I've done a fair bit of ridge there from away from the old man. Uh, well, I say a fair bit, it's not a long way. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to get into this dip and take the path to the right not a particularly long one today but uh, I'm not pushing it recently because I've not been out enough um, it's just nice to get up reasonably high especially in the wintry weather and uh, try some new bits mind you I think I've done all this before but just maybe in different directions um, I'm done Dow Craig for quite a few years but I've been up there before I've not been down here to Levers Water I don't think that's the only bit I've not done I've been along here this is the bit of the ridge that I said once was all just ice and you could see the sun shining on it the whole the whole thing right over to the fell over there the whole thing was just ice and with the sun shining on it and um, you couldn't go anywhere I mean you would just slide off all the way can go anywhere without crampons I've not seen it like that since I've seen small patches like that uh, but it was literally that it was the whole have I said it enough the whole uh, the whole hill all of it just ice Whoosh, amazing and that's what's amazing about winter is um, you see the hills in so many different forms uh, it's, they look different every time. I mean, today, not particularly wintry, <coughs> but when they do get some snow on them, um, you know, whether it's frozen and thawed, or whether it's thick snow, or whether it's spin drift, or whether it's, uh, you know, in big drifts and all that, it just always looks different. You go to the same, I mean, I've been up Helvellyn in the winter tons and tons of times, and uh, you know it's always just that bit different so when you repeat it it doesn't really matter because it's not the same um, and also there's so many routes you can vary it anyway especially in the winter because you could just go up a bit of grass you would never bother with you can go up a little gully or whatever in the winter because it's really good fun whereas in the summer it'd just be a grassy slope Anyway, I'm waffling on. Let's get down to the path and down to Levers Water. Let's see, let's see Levers Water. There it is. Not too far to drop though. dodgy path, bit of ice, bit of this, that and the other and then rocky steps, really slippery, really slippery and when did I fall over? on the frozen grass down here <laughs> fortunately no slope really so it's just a a bum land anyway looking lovely so it's just down to the water uh, I think I'll go around the other side. I've walked this side not long ago in the rain, so I'm going to walk around the other side. It's been a nice, well, it's been especially nice just because it's beautiful weather and no real wind. <clears throat> I did hope for winter when I was looking forward to this, but um, 
February, March is normally the best time in the lakes for the winter anyway. But it's been a stunning day. Not too long, but up and over a few things, some lovely views. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Yes. There's black sails where I've camped on the top in the snow. That's fantastic. Really, really good. I've said it before, but it's a really good location. Quite easy to get to, and it's lovely views. Yeah. And quiet. Oh, here's Levers Water. Let's get row over there to the dam and then we'll go down. Right, so I'm coming down into Copper Mines Valley now. Uh, unfortunately I've got to walk all the way down to Coniston because the car park was full at Warner Scar. But hey ho. Um, yeah, nothing like properly exciting today, but a lovely uh, trip around the old man and without going on it. And uh, have a look at Dal Crag. I don't get these films out freak too frequently, so feel free to go back in my playlist. And uh, it's lovely having some comments from you guys and uh, bit of a chat online so keep it up and uh, I'll love you and leave you stay safe out there